over the re-election of Obama, threatening to either move out of the country or secede. Yes, these people want to secede from the U.S. because their ideals don't coincide with the rest of what the people want. As I recall, the Constitution was formed to help people and work in their best interests. Maybe all that time in government class was wasted. I could have just skipped it and had a smoke behind the gym. What's really the problem? You fellows afraid that you're going to lose your guns? Or maybe you can't marry your cousins. Who knows? Maybe it's the fact that the country is finally, you know, turning around. Slowly turning around. But we are making a few strides. We have reformed health care. We also have gay marriage in some states and legalization of marijuana in others. And it's not about wanting to go back to family values now, is it? No, it's not. At least, not my definition of it. Doesn't it just tweak your trigger that we have a black president not only that, but a black president that got voted into a second term. And why is that? Hmm. Why is that? Perhaps it's the whole right to vote as an American. And it looks like these people who spoke up and wanted change went to the polls and made that happen. Now, I don't want to want to look at another graph telling me that Romney should have won if, you know, if this had happened or he would have won if that had happened. No. Uh-uh. I don't want to hear it. If you truly were listening to any of his campaigning, you would have realized just how ill-informed and closed-minded he really was. Not to mention that dancing horse white with his. Gah. If he had gotten elected, it would have been all about the money, about corporations, and about shutting out those who, of us who aren't lucky enough to have billions of dollars in assets, you know, across many, many banks, across the country and the world. I'm just thankful that we're turning a corner here, and as a society, we're digging ourselves out. And these idiots bitch again because, yes, we're still in debt. Because former candidates had to spend. And what about that automotive bailout? Yeah, remember that? Not to mention all the unnecessary spending for war when this money could have been spent helping the American people, you know, put towards helping our fellow man, cleaning up the environment, and, and strengthening our educational standards. But that is forward thinking. Let me say this. Not one person should be blamed for our problems. Everyone 
has a part in it. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, liberal, whatever. We all need to pull up our bootstraps and get to work, pushing this country forward instead of pulling it back to the dark ages. Do we really want that? That's it for now. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, peace, y'all.